relying a lot on the mix-ups with Spin Dash to try to get Glue to overextend a little bit, punish something that he can't, and then get him for that. So we're going to see. We got uh, Wrath, A, not privy, uh, definitely privy to making upsets, and we do have uh, Butoni uh, definitely um, in top eight. We predict, we predict, predict. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's predicted for top eight for sure. Yeah, the, yeah. The I, I, I would put him somewhere in the top four even. Word, word. So here we go. Best of five between these guys. So we got Wrath versus Glu Glutoni. Let's see what he can do. Two, one, Starting off on PS2. And right off the back, Glutoni just standing there. See how he just stands there and he like up airs in place? Like, he's just saying, I don't care. I'm down to just wait. You come to me. And that's the thing, right? Like, the moment that you start approaching Wario, that's the moment that he starts hitting a bunch of damage. All he needs is that one interaction and he gets you to hyper slam. But right now, Wrath is taking an early lead. He went up there for him, and that's that's gonna be the difference maker as well. It's like, ooh, <gasps> wow! Oh, you, bro, you out. saw how big <laughs> that index finger was, poking him with the Jimmy Deans, but the <laughs> damage, bro. The oh. back airs in, not gonna die just yet. But my man Wrath says with the, the coverage, the air up there. Let's go. Yeah, and Wrath's super used to being in the air. That's where he's gonna spend a lot of this matchup. If he's on the ground, that's a dangerous place to be. Cause that's where Wario starts all of his combos, where if you're in the air, as long as you don't get hit by a falling up air, you're totally safe. Oh, bouncing on him. See, and this is actually something that, you know, I neglected to mention. It's just that, like, how do you fight Sonic? <laughs> with a lead. <laughs> yeah, he just runs away from you, right? And it's the same thing for Warrior, right? So I, I wouldn't be surprised to see, like, if in the next few uh, interactions, if Lutini's able to take the lead, he does the same exact thing back to him. There's the back air. You're looking to keep him off stage here. Wrath going high. Lutini able to cover it, but he's not able to keep stage. Bro, and, like, if you think this man is going to, like, sit here and like, wait for you to do some down tilt to, like, uh, what? <laughs> Down tilt the dash attack type and stuff. It it's, not, it's not happening, bro. I'm out of there. This is Sonic, bro. He's been running away from fat guys with mustaches for years. You think <laughs> he's gonna true. let you get caught now? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's the dash attack though. Not gonna kill just yet. Wrath at high percent. I love going low there. It forces Wrath to go super low because he already committed to the homing attack. All right, well, he's got Waft. Yep. But if you lose this stock, uh, you're gonna have to work a little bit, work a little, a little extra. Uh, Harder for this than yeah, just getting the waft combo. He definitely what doesn't want to use waft right now. He wants to get that this stock and then use waft next stock. But the thing is that the longer that he's not using waft right now is the longer that he doesn't have to charge waft later in the game. Looney just so happy to stand. Whoa! Almost died. I didn't up even to know it? that move does that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know it did that, bro. All right. So I think at this point, Gluto was like, all right, a trade, whatever. Works for me. Down tilt. And another down tilt. Not going to kill just yet. He's going to get to stage. Wrath, he's got so... <gasps> <laughs> What's for dinner, mom, hedgehogs? <laughs> he just fell so slowly into his clutches. And he's like, finally, yes. yeah, finally Gluttony taking that stock. And now if I'm Wrath, I'm worried. What's that anime, Attack on Titan? That's what that scene looked like just now. Uh, <laughs> uh -oh. getting eaten. But yeah, I'm gonna need all this. Eat, eat, eat. One more hit could do it. All he needs is that one nice hit into the waft. He's looking for the falling up air. He's looking for the up tilts. Up tilt. Good up B from Wrath. He's going back air. No. But does get the spin dash into the fair. Nice. That's huge. Blutney only got one stock to work with in game one. Wrath, taking the, that early lead and just running with it. He hasn't let Gluttony back in. Oh, the combos though. Bounce with the bite. Yeah. Throwing the Harley Chopper on him Road again. Rage, baby. Ooh, Ooh, with the flap him up. What did the five fingers say in the face? Slap. <laughs> All right. So Gluttony is super in this right now because he needs that one combo and then one more interaction win and he can get the walk. But Wrath, I mean, he just continues to pile on the percent. He's doing a really good job of keeping advantage as well and not overcommitting. There we go. But Georgia coming Georgia alive. Getting, getting started, bro. Yeah, they're starting it. Looney just happy to stand on the other side of the stage. Oh, there's the back air. 
Actually, I think if he gets one hit right now, he can get the walk. He's close enough to the ledge. Wow, and he actually got he actually got his Nair snipe. That's crazy. Oh! Caught him with the bear, jumping over him. Expected uh, kind of a burst option immediately. Wrath reading that, finding the spot dodge, getting the back there. That was kind of pretty, actually. That was kind of dope. Yeah. So uh, this is going to be gl uh, gl Gluttony's problem. Big problem. It's like if you don't get that early lead on Sonic. Yeah. He's playing against someone who is equally patient, and that's very rare for Pluto. Pluto is such a patient player that he really doesn't have people who are trying to camp him out that often. So here we go, uh, back on PS2. And he's just sitting here, he's like, all right, bro, you can throw all those you, airs he, if he, you want he likes to, bro. to just throw out those up airs and chill, you know? Do what you want, bro. You come to me, you come to me. Now, now I have a lead. Okay, they hyping this man up Dude, a little bit. <laughs> I, tell, I tell you, man, this is going to be a long one. They, they hyping this man up a little too much, yeah, bro. They're, they're just spacing. Right? They're yelling for their boy, and they're just standing on the other side I of the mean, stage. I mean, in other. Ultimate, we're kind of spoiled, bro. Like, you know, 30 seconds goes by without that much, you know, interaction. And we're just like, oh, my God, you're not hitting each other. Where's the blood? It's like, bro, y'all need to play just a little bit of neutral. Come on, y'all. This is some, some long neutral, though. This is uh, These guys are just swinging back and forth with Wrath. Coming up on top of all of these exchanges, Gluto just hasn't really had an answer for this Sonic. The Sonic is just, you know, rap. So happy to just play this hit and run game. I'm gonna go in. If I get the hit, cool. If I don't, yes, I'm exactly. Because every time this man is spin dashing, if he passes through him, it's just like, all right, well, all right, situation resets. Here we go. But if he gets the hit, he just gets a, a lot of damage for it. And honestly, that's like something that I harp on a lot when I talk to new players about what they should be improve on. Don't commit to stuff. And if you do commit to something. Just get out of it. Don't don't try to fade back into them. Just get yourself in a situation where you can't be punished. And Wrath is so, so good at that. He just keeps on going in on Gluto. If he gets his opportunity, cool. If he doesn't, it's fine. And that's the same way that Gluto plays, but Gluto plays a character that can't keep up. That's the issue. And now he's tossing Gluto his bike. Yeah. My man Gluto was not having a good time right no, now. No. He's just tossing the bike, man. Please, please get hit by this. I need something. And a uh, little... And say, you're just like whatever, bro. I mean, I'm at you're you're at my mercy. Like, oh, well, he's got waft. Yep. Wrath is just super super scared of this waft right now. There's no reason to approach for him. He's got a significant lead. There it is. Oh my goodness. That was a lot of damage because the bike as well. Not able to get a waft, but maybe he wasn't looking for it just because he was in the middle of the stage. He finally got a hit on this man. Like finally. Yep. Finally got an up tilt on him. Like, when was the last time Gluto got an up tilt? There's the down tilt into the fair. Not able to get the back air, though. And suddenly, Gluto's kind of brought this back percent wise. It's a little bit closer to Wrath taking advantage. Gluto going high. Right, and where, like, you know, uh, where Wrath has gotten, like, most of his kills has literally been off stage with that move, with that move right there. Spin dash into, uh, spin dash into the fair, but gets the soft hit of back air. Not going to kill yet, going after him. And that was super unfortunate. The spring hit him into the stage, and because of that, he tried to cover with the down smash, and then Bluto just expending the waft. Worth it right there. There was no other move that was fast enough that he could get the kill with. Here we go. Now we have a potential. Ooh. <laughs> he tried to time that spot dodge. He's trying to be slick. Yeah, when that when uh, Sonic does homing attack, bro, don't spot dodge. Just run. Just shield. Yeah, shield. If you run, uh, walk away if you're going to get away. Yeah. Here we go, Rad. Down the stock and uh, it's kind of what, uh, like I said, this is each other's uh, each other's game plan, right? Two yep. sides of the same coin. Like, all right, well, we can camp each other. Yeah, Gluto more than happy to stand on the other side of the stage right now with this significant lead. The thing is that Wrath isn't in too, he can't be in too much of a rush to to end this stock, right? He's got so much percent, he's just got to pick his spots, be patient, wait for it to come to him. And that might be it. Yes, sir. It is. The man Gluttony, Gluttony, Gluttony is just like, bro, please. Stop, stop, not like this, bro. I don't want to fight this Sonic like this, man. <laughs> oh, Wrath's starting to get the damage on again, and it's just playing so safe. There's nothing Gluto can really do to punish that spin dash. Okay, putting on more damage. I <laughs> Yo, the patience from Rat. Eventually, he is forced to pull the trigger there. Uh, Gluto tried to end the bite early, hoping that he wouldn't react to it. Ooh. The bike extending the hurt box. Gluto reading that, just rolling right in. As I say, that man decided not to make a move. He probably would have died. And 
He's sniping out his aerials and just trading with them. He doesn't mind at all the back air. Rat. And the timing right now, you see what time it is? Pluto coming up on another walk. And just like he lost most of the interactions in the first stock, he could just find that one and get the waft in this one. There's an air. Pluto finally has the stage, but it's so hard to just keep that against Sonic. There's not a ton you can do. He missed the waft. And now go. he's got full waft. I think that's probably what he was waiting on. Oh? Okay. So a little back air action, perhaps. Oh, yep. caught him with the bike, yeah. Wrath overextending with that F-Smash and Glutiny overextending, trying to get that bite at the ledge. Maybe would have killed, I don't even know if it would have. Just a little bit of a misplay from him. Now, if there was any time for Sonic to run, then this is definitely this it. This is it, and there's a back air, though. Glutiny doing a great job of keeping the advantage, and he just evens up the stock count. Wow, Glutiny doing such a good job this game of keeping himself in now, compared Glutiny, to the last game. Now, Glutiny definitely, he, he only wants one thing. Only wants one thing. It's, it's, it's disgusting. It, it's actually gross. Mario Mains only want one thing, and it's disgusting. Oh, and he wants that falling up air so bad. Oh, eat him up. On the bike here, and he's been there. Oh, yeah. And uh, Gludo has just been doing a really good job of like nickel and diming him for damage here. Whoa. That's all he needs, right? He just needs to, a couple of cents, a little bit of change, and then he can turn that into a dollar with the walk. Here we go, 88%, and uh, Gluten's still not worried, even as far as I'm concerned. Oh, trade. Gluten. Oh, tech. Crucial tech right there. Definitely would have died off the bottom right there. Wrath putting on the damage. This is looking really similar situation to game one. Gluten wasn't able to clutch that one out, but he's got the full waft this time. We're looking at a minute and 40 seconds left, by the way. Right, and if... Uh, I was gonna say if uh, like a uh, gluten, just keeps getting these like these small <gasps> hits. Oh my God! Yes, that's it! No way! He just died! What is this? He knew that he wasn't gonna get it off the up tilt there. Wrath a little bit impatient, committing to the air dodge. Gluten able to cover it, goes straight to the other platform, gets him with the down B. Oh my goodness! The patience from Gluto really paying off. We we're getting really close to a timeout there as well. Wrath was he was fighting for so long, and it's just like that's. That's that's the crux of this. It's just like I only need one move, but you need multiple. Exactly. Oy. Exactly. Wrath has to just win so <coughs> many more interactions than Glutiny does, but when he takes that lead, it's so hard for Glutiny to keep up. And then he just overcommitted that one instance. Glutiny able to capitalize. So now here we go. Game three between these guys and Wrath. Uh, what's the move here, man? If I'm Wrath, I think we just run it right back. That stage is so big. You know, it's so hard for Warrior to keep up. The issue is that the side blast zones are so close, right? And so it makes Waft a little bit scarier. But that said, like, if you're going to die to Waft on another stage, you probably also die to it on this stage. Like, or yeah, this stage, you know what I'm probably, saying? Yeah, it, it's probably not that big a deal. Yep, get your, get your 35 apiece, get your, ooh, okay. <laughs> Oh, bites uh, him up with the blast zone, tears <laughs> him up. Yo, what was that? This man hopped on the spring, but but, but bite at the same time. <laughs> Wrath still playing his patient game. No reason to commit to anything. He's got the lead. Happy to wait seven minutes. Here we go, a little throw off stage. Doesn't go for the bike smartly. Beat him up. Those chompers, man. Yo, where are you gonna go to the dentist? All these spines that he's getting through his teeth, right? I now. mean, honestly, you have nine teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so you should you them hoes should be clean all the time, bro. You have nine teeth. I'm not trying to hear that. Look at this. And they're getting put to work right now. Like three uh three bites. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You gotta chew your food, Wario. A uh, uh, fourth one. Oh he's my chewing, goodness. Though. There's gonna be a slap. Oh, went super deep for that. There's the bike. He's got to use it to recover. Now the bike is not online. If Wrath gets him off stage, it can be dangerous. Now the bike is back. Coming up on waft time. Just a little bit longer. Uh, he's gotten so many bites that it's probably going to come up pretty soon here as well. Gives me the grab, forward throw. We need taking advantage. This is a really close game for this first stock. We haven't seen the first stock be this close in a while. 
Right, we see the avoidance tactics coming out from Glutoni. He really... Ooh. Ooh! What? Called him out. He Who said does slap that? and then... That's the Chuck smash. Liddell back thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how big that man's fist got? Yeah. Right? Ooh! The, and the falling up air from Sonic. Yeah, Very nice. call out on the drift. Glutoni just kind of falling into him right there, but he's got the waft, and that's what we're looking for. It's, there it is right there. That, kill was, that kill was early. Yup, yup. That was gross. Yup. And that's what you have to be cognizant of if you're playing against Wario. And now Wrath has to approach. Butani is going to be more than happy to camp him out. But he's putting that damage on two where he can get it. He's like now, and now finally, Wrath is playing. Uh, Wrath is like playing the game that he didn't want to play. And he's like, right. oh, I have to be aggressive. I have to, I have to interact. I have to do stuff. That's crazy. I'm Sonic. <laughs> I just run, bro. And look at Gluto. He's just standing on the other side of the stage. He does not care. He knows that Wrath has to commit more than a spin dash if he wants to really get through his shield. <laughs> Rolling under the, the platform there was perfect because there was no way that Wrath was going to be able to get through it. Gets the bike. Ooh, the jumps. There's a the punish. Throwing the bike. Toss it. Right, Gluto to go just the, chilling. Uh, Take, take it for a ride. Uh-oh. Not the stock just yet. He doesn't have the bike off stage. He's got to do a mix-up with the air dodge, and he gets it. He's got the bike back now, though, so he's safe. He gets it off. All right. Avoiding loft. I mean, uh, avoiding bite. Like, he, uh, like, uh, he doesn't need a lot. But he just has to be careful that he doesn't overextend too hard so Sonic right. can kill him. Right, and we are coming up on another WAF timing. These matches are so slow that Gloomy's able to get two, possibly even three, Per set, or per game, rather. There's a back air. Wrath is just, seems a little bit flustered compared to before. Tossing the bike up, back to is gonna do it though. And now, this is where it gets dangerous. Luto's gotta make sure he doesn't take too much percent here. He's gotta recognize that Wrath is more than down for the timeout. Wrath has gotta be down for the timeout himself, you know? I mean, yeah, I was gonna say, Wrath is gonna, probably gonna have to play the Ooh. slow Sonic, but, wow, that was a Ray Lewis shoulder tackle. That was a. Vontez Burfield, that was, Damn. it was that hard, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, it was, boy. He, so what happened there was he caught him charging the spin dash, right? Wrath had been charged, like, mixing up the timings at which he had been charging spin dash. Sometimes a little bit longer, sometimes he would do it right away. Right there, he assumed that Gluto was going to back off, so he started charging it a whole bunch. Gluto just dashes forward, gets that forward tilt, and there's the dash back as well. Yeah, like, uh, it's really been, he's really been catching him at his startups. Right? Yeah, exactly. That's the only time that he really can against Sonic, right? Yeah. Like, where else do you get him? You can't get him in the middle of it, so you gotta wait. One, go. So here we go. Uh, not changing from PS2, so... I, guess, I think this is the best stage for both of them, honestly. There's no way that there's a better stage. At least that, you know, they're gonna be allowed to go to. So I'm gonna Wrath on his last leg here. Unfortunately, and... Game three, uh, game four between these guys and... Wrath, like the lat, like what really broke the the straw on the camel back, bro, is like, is like that man got hit with an early kill. Yeah, like, that, that really, walk really second early. stock, that was rough for him. At sixty percent. Yeah, he hasn't really recovered the momentum from that. Maybe he can bring that back together. But right now, Butini, we we have not seen him put early percent on at all. And so far, he's got the lead in the first stock. And I think uh, Glutony has finally, Glutony has finally found that uh, that game adaptation. He's just like, yo, I'm just gonna, I finally have the adjustments. And every time I catch you, you know, not activating spin dash, you're charging it like that. Like when you're when you're doing that, then like, yeah, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna try, yeah. try to capitalize off and that. And then he waits for the second option. You know, once the Sonic goes into the air. Oh, that back there call out. That's exactly what I'm talking about. You know, like once he goes through him with the spin dash and commits the jump. After that, he waits for that one extra uh, option, like a second jump or an air dodge, and then he punishes accordingly. Here we go. Okay, get you a little damage in, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's got to get something at this point. He's starting to have rack it up. Lutini just so happy to run away. Hey, uh, we might be here for a whole 6.30, I'm just saying. Look, it, it, it's totally okay. I mean, I'm with, with Sonic, you don't have a lead anymore, so you kind of have to... Go in. Yeah, and the other thing is in about 19 seconds, he's going to have walked. And so he's waiting for that to start putting on some damage. He's going to keep running away, try to avoid getting hit, and just capitalize on it once he's got it. Yeah, I like the up air mix-ups, you know. There's the walk, biting him up. One hit, he, that was the same situation. Yep. And he's still in it. Yeah, landing up air, Nair. There's so many things that can lead into the walk right now. You can tell he's searching for it. Maybe hunting a little bit too much and Wrath punishes him for it. 
Ah, but misses the walk. Yeah, he was just a little bit off. He thought that the Nair was going to send him to the right, actually ended up holding it to the left. And there's going to be a spin dash forward air. Not going to take the stock just yet. 180% on Gluto. And he's just chilling. He's going to wait another two minutes for a walk. Yeah. No reason for him to try to overcommit, even at 180. Yeah. And he's going to finally open. get the kill off yeah. that. Very nice. Well done by Rav. And in the meantime, he's done 40%. Yeah. It's not a, a lot, but for a Wario, like, that's where the, like, half waft starts killing. So this is, like, the prime area that he wants to be in. And it's so interesting. A lot of the time you see war uh, Lutini in particular go for half wafts and try to, like, maximize the amount of wafts that he can get per game. But the thing is, because of the slow nature of this set in particular, he's really just utilizing those full wafts mostly. So we go, okay, we see my man Rath uh, trying to get the damage differential, caught him uh, spot dodging, and was somehow able to escape from that. And yeah, that was weird. Oh my goodness, and the damage. Rath taking the lead right now. Down air. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the waft right there, but Rath air dodging in. Yeah, Slap. Nice. That's it. Goes, got for the, goes for the option on ledge, and yeah. now uh, there's another WAP coming. It's it's about 30 seconds out. And all these bites are adding to that time. Oh yeah. Air grab. And now he's at the prime percent. He's exactly where Gluto wants him. There's the full WAP. 56. You might be looking at your end, my friend. So uh, if I were you, I'd go ahead and kill him. Here we go. Trying to go for the back air. Good spot dodge on his part. Looks like he does not have full walk just yet. Maybe just a half. Dash attack. There's the full walk. Here we go. The back, air. back air. Wrath kind of falling apart here. He read it. Not going to be able a little to get too it here. slow. Yeah. Going to be able to get the bite anyway. That damage differential. Fair? Uh, with fair? Fail. Ew. Yes. Nice job on Gluttony, though. Really yeah, exuding dude. patience in that matchup for sure, for sure. That man, uh, that was a that was a slow boogie. Yeah, I was telling you, man, that's gonna be a grind. That's that those two characters, those two players, man, they're more than happy to stand on the other side of the stage, just wait it out. And Wario, as you can see, kind of takes advantage of that a little bit more. But I think we are going to a break. So thank you guys for tuning in.